This is Eva, and she is one of the kids that we work with, one of our sponsored children. And I wanted to tell you about this beautiful, yo quiere decir de su vestida, this beautiful dress that she's wearing. Um, her mom or somebody bought this for her last week because they had a special party to go to for their Independence Day. But since then, I have seen her four times, and she's been in the same dress. And I don't know if you can see here, you probably can't see, but it's very dirty right here, very black. And that's because she doesn't have other clothes. She has this dress, and she has, I know she has one other outfit for sure. And they also have no running water in their house, so for them to even wash this dress would mean that they'd have to put, carry, they would carry a, a bucket to the river and wash it by hand and come home because they have no water in their house or close by their house. So she's wearing this dress and she looks very beautiful. Muy bonita. Tu quiere dice algo de su vestida? Tu quiere dice algo de esa vestida? Tu quiere dice algo? No. Okay, she doesn't want to say anything. Welcome to Club Abide. This is our clubhouse where we meet with um, all of our children, whether they are sponsored or not. They are invited to come every Saturday for uh, Bible lesson, art projects, English classes, and then we always feed them lunch. By the way, this is Matthew, one of our kids. And um, we feed them lunch, and it's just what we're doing is we're trying to break down the barriers between certain gangs that have control of the country here. And um, we just cross the barriers. We have some kids from MS-13 territory and some kids from 18th Street. And they all just come in and mix together and learn that um, they're all good people and they can be friends and are, you know, we're hoping to raise up a generation that's gang free. We club abide because we want to give them a sense of belonging to something. Um, we've, we've seen that, sorry, we've seen that Kids who belong to something, families or clubs, are less likely to end up in a gang. And because the family unit is so fractured here, we try to recreate an environment where they belong to something. We are working with Ricardo over there. We are um, putting food items in each one of these boxes. Each one of these boxes is going to go to a, a specific child who has been sponsored by somebody. Uh, we are headed to go. We're going to load up uh, the boxes that we packed earlier today. We're going to load them up, put them in uh, here in the back of the truck, and we're going to go around and, and pass them out to the kids. Some of the families, there's 26 families that live on this property that they ended up, um, some of the people had moved out. They've moved, most of these women, most of these are single women with children. And, um, but a couple of the families have moved out because this community is about six years old. So the idea is that, or my dream is that we're gonna take this community and change it into a concrete community. And so what we're doing is we're building two 10 by 20 houses, which are the same as that, but they're side by side as a duplex with front doors here. And then it's gonna be one big room, and then behind it now are gonna be the bathrooms, and then a shower area, a place for them to wash their dishes and also to um, shower in private. So pretty much finished digging today and then they'll come back and break up the first part of the hole of the latrine and then they'll dig deeper, wall that up until they get to uh, 12 feet or so. so we, are, we are done for the day at the construction site.